Welcome back to Investing and Trading Live, sponsored by Online Trading Academy, and we are having a good time talking about the markets. In the last segment, we talked about buyers and sellers in the market, which is demand for buyers, supply for sellers, and we, we, there was a lot of some good good news this week. I mean, all news is good news. I mean, you can take it how as you wish, but the debt ceiling talks, uh, Al was talking about the rate potential increases or not increase. So all this news is just created, and it brings opinions to the public. Well, the institutions are driving these moves in the markets, and that's where our strategy um, here at the Academy, we're looking to identify where are those banks and institutions buying and selling. doesn't matter who it is, and it's just it, it's, a, it's a reflection on a price chart. That's where we identify that, and that's where you put your odds in your favor, odds and probabilities to make smart investing decisions. And we do have these uh, these investing classes that a lot of people have been coming into to, to see what these concepts and techniques are. We do these classes during the week. We also have them on the weekend. And uh, for those of you that did miss seats for that class, make sure to text the word investing to the number 210, 210 right now. And that's for two seats. Text the word investing to the number 210. 210 for two seats for the investing class. When you do that, you'll get a text right back. It's automatic. And uh, that gives a link uh, to our landing page. So you can pick your own date. So make sure to click the link and pick a date that works best for you. And we'll make sure we get you a call as well. So we have uh, all the details in the class. Uh, We're local here in Bloomington. So uh, come check that out when you get a chance here in the next week or two. So Al, as I ended the last segment, I mentioned it's NBA Finals week or Finals month. You know, we had a great playoff playoff run, um, you know, watching the playoffs. And we were down to the Miami Heat versus the Denver Nuggets. And in the interim between their games, game seven to game one with Miami, and it would be after game four to game one with Denver, they didn't just sit around and do anything. They were watching film. They were relaxing, getting some treatments and preparing for the game. And then they started, the coaches were starting to put together a game plan for the NBA Finals. How do we strategize this? What do we do if Jimmy Butler does that? What if we do if the Joker does this? And how do we plan to defend these highly talented athletes in the Finals? So they're preparing for those Finals to obviously have the outcome to win, to get the trophy. Sure. Now, the same thing in the financial markets is you have to have some sort of trading or investing plan that has set rules with it. Set rules and object. first off, your objective on what you want to accomplish, and then how do you get there? So where are you at now? Where do you want to be in the future? And then how do you get there? So let's talk about a little bit about that here in this segment here because there's a lot of listeners, Al, that are looking for another income strategy but don't know where to start or don't know how to start. And so what are some of the, I guess, the the beginning stages of having a trading investing plan if you need another income strategy in your life? Well, that word plan is is significant. There's a handful of words that are, are really important and in, in impact your ability to uh, or your chances of being successful. When you were using that basketball analogy, mm-hmm. uh, Josh, what what one team is doing when they put a plan together is they're looking at what they're kind of looking at a worst case scenario, looking at each player on the opposing team and what that player can do to you. Mm-hmm. That's risk. In the markets, the yep. same thing is risk. You have to know how to control risk. That's part of a plan. And minimize it too. Well, you have to minimize. That's controlling it. Control risk. And and if you're going to be a, a trader or investor and, and you want to be able to do it for more than a week or a couple of months, you have to know how to not lose. And that's it, the objective I talked about. You have to have some sort of reason on why you're looking at that income strategy, yeah. whether, say, you have a job and it's not paying enough to save or you want to get out of it. There's different reasons why people are looking at the market, but you have to identify that. Yeah, exactly. And, and again, getting back to that basketball analogy, if, if a team just went out and didn't have any kind of plan – and just said, yeah, I just go out there, dribble and shoot and score some points. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't necessarily do, you probably wouldn't do very well at, at all. You have to know what you're facing and you have to know how to take advantage of, of every opportunity. Those the teams, same thing is true in trading. Those teams investing. that did that this past year probably were in the uh, in the NBA lottery for the number one yeah, pick. Yeah. <laughs> there, there you go. Yeah, there's a silver lining there, yeah, I guess, there for go. that a little bit. 
But, uh, the, you know, what you mentioned something earlier in that first segment. I, I just want to co- uh, comment on you said we've been around for 26 years. Mm-hmm. Think about that. You know, our job is to make people successful investors and traders. You cannot be around for 26 years if you're not doing that successfully. So, again, you know, come into one of these classes and let us show you what we do, how we have been successful over those years. Well, it's just a, it's having a consistent strategy. And everybody has a different definition of success. That could be time, like we talked about earlier. It's not always monetary. So that's why it's important to have that goal or objective. That way you define mm-hmm. what that success looks to you. Well, and that's correct. That's a good point. And your plan should cover this. Where are you now financially and where do you want to be in the future? What do you want your financial life to look like in two years or five years or 10 years? And and what your goal is, what your objective is down the road is going to be different than somebody else's. So it becomes very important to have somebody help you put together a plan that is specific to you. How do you get from where you are now to where you want to be? You know, I think a lot of our students are, are coming in here and they're, 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 they just want to be able to do whatever they want to do, whenever they want to do it, and not have to be concerned about the cost of it. That's that, the freedom that's of time. Goal. That's freedom of time, ex- exactly. And and you mentioned another word. And you mentioned consistent. Mm-hmm. Consistency is a is a huge part of being successful. It's not. Don't go into this looking for huge profits. Don't look at that as being you, everything you concentrate on. You have to learn a process. You have to be consistent in what you do. Those big wins will come. But if you're consistent, then you it's it's like uh, baseball. Here's another sports analogy. Mm-hmm. Everybody that, that gets up and hits that's a good hitter does not get a home run every time. In fact, the, the singles, doubles, triples, those are the, the ones that really win games. You look at Moneyball, the movie Moneyball was based off a true story mm-hmm. with Brad Pitt and uh, Jonah Hill. Right, yeah. So it could, being consistent in what you're doing, and that's following a process that, that has been shown to work over time. That's what we do. We teach you how to do this so you have that consistency and you follow a plan that is designed for you. Yeah, I know. And that's the cool thing about the sports is there's a lot of analogies with sports that we can really bring into the financial financial world as, world as well. And I, I got to, you know, applaud you, Al. You know, when I was talking a little bit earlier and I was mentioning some different words and you brought them back and we're talking about them, I got, I'm proud. You were actually listening. <laughs> I do occasionally listen to Once you. Once in a while you do listen. Yeah, I'm very yeah. proud of you. Let's keep that up. But well, I'll, <laughs> And you just happened to say a couple of important things this time. But I you just know, happened to be listening when you said it. But you did notice those words were very short for you, though. Plan. <laughs> you know, yeah, can, yeah. You, can you pla- spell that? I can, I can spell that. The Josh. plan. T- he, that's how you spell it, Al. <laughs> the but um, going back to the financial markets, we have a lot of fun on this show here, and we got to make sure we give a, an opportunity to our listeners to come into one of these investing classes that we do here locally. These are classes where we've taught thousands, just like you, our different strategies, what's our design to teach you to make smarter trading and investing decisions. So text the word investing to the number 210-210 right now. Text investing to the number 210-210. And this is for two seats for an investing class here locally. Al teaches these I teach these as well. And we, we we have a lot of fun on the show. We do have a lot of fun in these classes as well. And these are very interactive. If you have questions, make sure to bring them with you so we can answer any okay. questions that you have, whether you're looking for an income strategy or a wealth strategy. And that kind of gets into the next topic I want to talk about here, Al, is people that are looking at income strategies in the market, they are looking at them based off of just the stock market. You know, everybody knows the stock market and they say, oh, how do I trade the stock market? It's only open during the day, six and a half hours a day, 8.30 until 3 central time. And uh, they just don't have the opportunity because they work during the day. But also, it does require a lot of capital, right? If you want to mm-hmm. trade more than four times per week, you're required to have 25000 bucks in an account. Yeah, that's being a day trader. That's what the pattern, pattern day, day trader rule by based off FINRA. Right. Now, there's other assets that allow people to trade at night. We kind of kicked the show off with, being able to trade and invest even on a Sunday afternoon mm-hmm. or evening. Mm-hmm. How, explain those assets and why people are really gear or I guess drifting towards those because of the opportunities that they do present. Yeah. Well, well, think about this for a minute. If what Josh just said, if you don't know what he's talking about, why not? Why haven't you been educated on these other assets? And the only thing that you really talk to about are uh, stocks and, and mutual funds. Well, maybe it's because the big players, the real successful traders out there, the Wall Street institutions, maybe they want something that they kind of keep to themselves. And that's what really 
creates benefits for them. Those assets that we're talking about, you can trade the stock market. We, we show you how to do that. We show you how to do it with, with success, with the odds of being successful in your favor. But we also show you these other assets. And these other assets have a number of benefits that all of the big players are utilizing. Even guys like Warren Buffett, you know, he's a big stock guy. He buys, uh, he basically buys companies by buying, you know, a, a controlling portion of their stock or a, a high enough portion of their stock to have influence over what they do. But he also makes billions of dollars a year trading these other assets. And, and we'll spend a lot of time in these two-hour classes talking about these what they are, it's the options market, the foreign exchange market, the futures market. The futures market and the foreign exchange market, they're open essentially 24 hours a day. So that gives you a lot of opportunities to trade. Even with the options market, which is open during the stock market hours, you don't have to be there. You don't have to be present to actually put a trade together and to manage that trade. The, those are things that we teach you how to do. Why are these assets so beneficial, futures, forex, options? Well, I mentioned the 24-hour trading of futures and forex. What about leverage? If you have a dollar to invest, and, and it, it will buy $1 worth of something for you, that's kind of a one-to-one -one leverage. What would you do? Yeah, a big deal. But what if that $1 could buy $50 worth of something or $100 worth of something? Would you rather have that kind of a, of a relationship? Probably. Uh, and I, if not, I'm not sure why not, but th these assets are leveraged. In other words, each dollar does buy a multiple of that dollar's worth of that particular investment. So that allows you, uh, Josh mentioned that a lot of the equities out there are very high priced. Some of them, you know, are, are four or $500 a share or over a thousand dollars a share. It's pretty hard to put together a, a decent sized position with something like that, unless you're a multimillionaire or a billionaire. So how do you participate in those? Well, you can use options. Options will allow you to get into something for a fraction of the price. Uh, instead of paying maybe fifteen to twenty thousand dollars for a position, maybe you're you're looking at five hundred, seven hundred, a thousand dollars, somewhere in you know in that range. You can kind of choose the option that you want to invest in and how much you want to put into it. Uh, but you also are controlling risk. And, and as we mentioned before, that's the most important thing. Don't ever go into anything until you know what the outcome could be, whether it's good or bad, and then you control. You control both of them, by the way. You control risk, but also the, the outcome if you're right. Uh, one of the mistakes a lot of people make is, is not knowing how to, to take a profit. But, again, I mentioned that uh, the short the, these assets not only are, are good as far as the amount of time they trade, the leverage that they have, but – also, they're short-term in nature. So look, if you here's kind of the, the difference between what Wall Street has you doing, doing which is a long-term buy and hold, and short-term trading. So the question is really, do you want money now, or do you want to wait 10 or 20, 30 years, and then maybe have some then? Yeah, and that's also very important to have the right strategy based off of market conditions, right? So going, back, going mm -hmm. back to the NBA Finals, I mean, if, if the Miami Heat, do a pick and roll every single play, they're, Denver is going to know what to do with that. They're going to sure. start to defend on that. And that's kind of what the public has been doing for years and years and years. And ha over time, haven't done that well in the markets. They just buy and hold and hope things go up. Well, their strategies as markets go down for income, their strategies as they go up, their strategies as they, as they go sideways. So it's having the right, uh, the right uh, strategy for the current market condition. And then we really dive into a lot of that in these investing classes that people are looking to have another income strategy is, is what is the market condition now? That's kind of like that one that'll, that'll turn, what are you doing for me today, market? Mm -hmm. And then how do I use the strategy to profit off of that? And that's what it's all about, having the right strategy for your goal or objective. And so these investing classes, they're only two hours of your time. Uh, and can, can two hours change your life? Potentially, but you won't know unless you come in and check it out. Text the word investing to the number 210, 210 for two seats for this class. These classes are local here and, you know, hands on. Bring any questions that you have in and we'll see how we help you out with different income strategies. Text the word investing to the number 210, 210 for two seats for this class here in Bloomington. Coming up next, we're going to talk about those different strategies for up and down markets, but also in your wealth accounts would be retirements, 401ks and IRAs. We'll be right back. 